Hey everybody, happy Tuesday night. Hope you all had a great day. Um, I am coming on to do a lip swatch for you guys. I haven't done one. Sorry for my finger, it's bleeding. I don't know what I did to it, but anyways, that's not the point of this video. <laughs> um, I haven't done a lip swatch video in a while, and um, I figured, you know, why not? Summer's coming. Some of you guys might really like some of these colors that we have through pharmacy. So I wanted to swatch them for you. Um, let me just get my wipes out. Make sure, make sure I have my wipes. What is going on over here? My goodness. Okay. These guys are so good. If you haven't tried the pharmacy wipes, you may want to. I always have them. I love them, especially for taking makeup off, um, like for swatchings and frost swatches and stuff um i have my glasses on because the numbers on these are really hard to read so without them on um it's so hard for me to tell you the names and the numbers so what we're going to start off with is we are going to start off with um what i would call our og liquid lipsticks these are the liquid matte lipsticks that came out originally with pharmacy um they are what was available when i first signed up with pharmacy i love them i actually i almost love them still better than the vfx elite ones um i just love 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 the old version of our liquid matte lipsticks um, and thank god they've kept them because they are just so so good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and start off with those first okay so the originals all have the black um covers so we are going to start with those and then these two, I don't think we have this. Do we have these shades anymore? I don't think we do. No. Okay. So I'm not going to show you those two because we don't have it anymore. It got delisted. So I do not have all the shades. Okay. Um, we have currently in the original formula, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 shades for our original okay i'm going to swatch the ones that i currently have so what we're going to do is i'm going to go kind of like from light light to dark okay um so let me kind of put these in order um that being the darkest so okay so we are going to start with number three and number three is nude essence now i'm not going to use um lip liners with these you guys because it would take too long and i'm just putting them on and taking them off but we have a ton of coordinating um lip liners that you can use and this one is a really pretty nude and it has I would say more of a, it's not really a peach undertone. It's kind of like a reddish undertone. And it's just really, really pretty. So that's one coat of the um, color. So that's it. Let me take these off for what? Well, until I need them to look at the numbers because I can see that they're like reflecting and it's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> okay, so that is, what number did we say? Number three, number three, nude essence, okay? And I'll swatch it on my hand too, that way you guys can kind of see close up, okay? It's one of my favorite shades, actually. I really, it's just, a shade that can go with anything and that's kind of cool you know when you can get something that goes with everything okay 
and let me just dry my lips. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the next shade and that's gonna be, hold up, <laughs> uh, shade number 203, which is gonna be all natural. Now this definitely is a lighter shade, so you may want to use a lip liner that's going to kind of complement it, but also go a little bit darker. Okay. And for some reason, The shade looks so different. Yeah, no, 203. I know you guys look so much different than I remember it, but that is 203. Super pretty. So it's pretty true to the hand swatch. Okay. And that's another really pretty nude shade. And then we're gonna go in with 205, which is the shade Brave. I just got out of the shower, you guys, oh my goodness. I have no makeup on. We were doing yard work. And I felt like I had like a thousand insects on me. <laughs> Probably did. It felt so good to get washed up. Okay. So this is Brave. And let me swatch it. It's like a purpley brown, a little hint of pink. So, so pretty. So, so far I've shown you the top three favorites of mine. These are all like shallot shades for sure. And I have to say that so far I have not found any lipsticks that I like better for a liquid matte lipstick, these are super comfortable on your lips, you guys. Next up is 206. This is Confident. This is the shade um, that made me interested in pharmacy. It was the first shade that I ever bought from pharmacy. It is one of my favorites. I absolutely love, love, love this shade. It's just like that grungy purple. It has like a gray undertone to it. And it's just so pretty, you guys. Okay. So that is 206 Confident. And so, so pretty. I feel so weird without makeup right now. <laughs> Doing lip swatches, but at least you have nothing else to detract you from the shades of lips that I'm putting on. You guys, my melasma is so bad. Look at that. Can you see that, you guys? Isn't that terrible? Every single... Um, summer and spring this is what happens and this is with sunblock you guys like i have sunblock i use sunblock all the time and it just doesn't make a difference it's terrible okay let me put my glasses on this one is number 08 
So this is Sunset Breeze. And this is definitely a fall color. It's definitely like your pumpkin spice. It's super pretty. Definitely not a color that I would wear in spring or summer, but I do wear it in the fall and the winter a lot. So that's Sunset Breeze. So pretty. So, so pretty. And I think most people would look good in it. It has that orangey, a slight yellow undertone to it, but not too bad. But really, really pretty. Okay, then next is going to be number 12 this is autumn story this is another fall winter shade and of course i'm going to get some on my teeth and i think because my lips are a little wet from the wipes Not the best uh, <laughs> application, but. So Autumn Story. And it's like this beautiful orange, like brick red. It's really, really pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous fall and winter shade. Absolutely. And once it dries down, these stay on for hours, you guys, hours. And again, super, super comfortable on the lip. Super comfortable. Okay, then we have, I know which one this is, but I just wanna make sure. Okay, number 10. This is Sweet Cherry. This is a really pretty color. If you are someone who's wanted to try like a more of a red shade, but don't want to go totally to the red side, this would be a, a really good beginning point. It's so pretty, you guys. Let me swatch it on my hand for you. See how pretty that is? So if you don't want to go with a true red, your red scare you, try this one. It's so, so pretty. And this is good year round, you guys. This is not just like a fall or winter shade. This is good for all year. So pretty. Um, I have so many customers that order this color. It's a very popular shade. Okay, then we have, we have shade nine, which is Love Secret. And we're going back into kind of like the brown orange tones. This one's more got has more of a red undertone. Okay. Can you see? It has kind of like a reddish undertone to it. So that is Love Secret. Pretty, right? Another great fall, winter color. Okay. 
then we have this one's one of my favorites it's so vampy and dark this is um number six i just need to see the number this is superstar this is like a deep deep red like if you are into like uh vampy colors you want to get noticed like this would be what you'd want to wear okay this is going to bring attention so if you don't want like that sexy red lip that's going to get you a lot of attention then this isn't for you and i'm going to try my best to do this without a liner Okay, just watch it on my hand, you guys. See what a beautiful red that is? It's like a very deep, deep, rich red. And it's wicked, uh, wicked buildable, so you can actually get this to be a lot deeper, and it makes your teeth look super white. So, that is Superstar so pretty it's my favorite red um as far as like a deep red goes i have one other red that i absolutely love from pharmacy it's called red love i don't have that one i actually have to order it because i used it up <laughs> uh i love it it's like a classic red kind of like that blue based red it, it's so good Okay, so that is all I have right now for the originals, okay? So now we're going to go into the elites, which are going to be the ones with um, the different color caps, okay? So we are going to do, let's see, how many do I have of that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine of them. Do I have nine? I think so. Let's see this one. So um, let me get that one out of here. Okay. I have some with silver caps and some with gold. So bear with me. All right. So let's start with the lightest to darkest like we did last time so we're gonna do cool beige which is that one then this is money maker that's also money maker so we need to get that out of there and then this one and then we got some really like fun colors um and then let's see this is number two which is cool beige. So let me just get that. So we have cool beige. Okay, these are the originals. So let's put that aside. And this is number one. This is retro rose. So we need to put that first. And then number five can come here. And this one is number number six i think yeah number six flamingo okie dokie so we're gonna start out with zero one which is retro rose and now these again these are the vfx elites these are 19 dollars a piece but if you join you can get these for half off they're long lasting feel great on the lips okay that's 
Retro Rose. It's a really pretty pink nude. So if you like a pinky nude, that would be perfect. I gotta get a new wipe out. Okay. It's so pretty. Okay. Then we're gonna go in with uh, Cool Beige, which is number two. And this is a really light, almost like a milky pink. On this one, I put it on and then oh, I take my finger and I kind of push it in and blend it. This is a color that is really pretty with a liner or as a color to ombre another color with. Okay. So that is cool beige. And like I said, I would use this with a lip liner or I could use this to ombre out, which is usually what I do. And I'll swatch it in my hand too. <laughs> They're getting all over my teeth because my lips are wet. But let me swatch it on my hand for you. So it's like this really pretty milky pink. Really, really pretty. So cool beige. Then we're gonna go in with, this is, should be Money Maker, yep. So this is number four, Money Maker. It's a true nude. And it has a little bit more of a peachy undertone. And this one on me, I do have to build it up a little. And this is also another shade that I usually take my finger and I will blend it in. And let me swatch it on my hand so you can see. It's a really, really pretty nude. Okay, and that is Money Maker. This with 227 is really, really pretty with lip liner 227. Okay, and then up next is going to be, uh, this should be, this should be Cool Girl, number three. And this is a really pretty brown nude. One of my favorites. From this set. I love this shade. That's what it looks like. This is like one of my favorites. So this is Cool Girl. You had cool beige, this is cool girl. And cool beige ombre with this looks so pretty together, you guys. Super, super pretty. Okay. And then we're gonna go into the next shade, which is going to be 05. So this one's soft violet. It's just a really pretty pink. Pink
pink with kind of like a hint of lavender. It's pretty. Not sit on my hand. So that is soft violet. And I need to get a new wipe because that one is used up. Okay, and now we're going to go into, this one should be Flamingo, I believe. Yes, number six, Flamingo. This is bright, you guys. So if you are into bright colors in the summer, you need this. Okay, did I not say it was bright? <laughs> this is Flamingo, and it's definitely bright like a Flamingo. It is not a Charlotte color. <laughs> I don't um, I don't like like really bright, bright colors, even in the summertime. But if you do like bright colors, it's a really pretty color. Okay, so that is Flamingo. And we're almost done. Like I said, I don't have all of them because um, I have to restock. I have to restock, you guys. All right, next up, I'm going to do this one. It's another pink. And this one is number 12. So this should be Fuchsia Bouquet. And this is another bright one, you guys. Now, I will say if I was going to go with a bright, I would go with this one, me personally. Oh. And you definitely want to use a lip liner. It will make your life so much easier. So let me swatch on my hand. It's super pretty, you guys. Really, really pretty. And so that was Fuchsia Bouquet. See how pretty that is? I like that better than the Flamingo. If I was, like I said, if I was gonna use a bright, um, a bright color, that would be the one. And sorry about my glasses, you guys. I know they make it's making like funky dots or something. I don't know why either. I think it's the vanity lights. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, this one should be Mulberry Haze. Yep. This is one of our newer shades. It's a deep purple. deep deep purple and this is another one that you definitely want to use a liner with because it can get really messy if you don't. And I'm sorry for the amount of product that's going on my teeth and on my tongue. Okay, little messy application, I apologize. 
how pretty that is. That is a gorgeous fall and summer, uh, fall and winter shade. Okay. Look, oh, I love that shade. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and the last one. Let me wipe my hand. And this one is the last one that I have. And it should be number nine, I believe. Yep. So Deep Dahlia. And this is another new one. And this one reminds me a lot of Superstar. And again, when you're doing these deep, dark shades, use a lip liner. You will thank me later. Thank God it's the last one, you guys, because it's getting messy. It is definitely getting a messy. And it's crooked, but you get the point. You get the idea, you know, of what it looks like. Let me just try blending it a little bit. And I'll swatch it on my hand. See how pretty that is? And it's buildable, so if you, the more coats you put, the deeper and darker it gets. Like, And then once it dries down, it is so pretty. And your teeth will actually look really white. Right now it's going all over my teeth because my lips are wet from the wipes. And I'm just building it up for you guys so you can see. Like how dark you can get that. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? So, so pretty, you guys. So, so pretty. I love this shade. And like I said, it reminds me of Superstar. See, you can build that up so good. This is such a beautiful, like, black, like, with a black lined, um, wing line liner and, um, Black winged eye. <laughs> uh, and just a natural eye look. It would look super pretty. Or you could go in with a really sexy smoky eye and do this shade because it is sexy. It is a super sexy, you guys. So those are the ones that I have. The rest of them um, are either duplicates or they're not available anymore. So I'm not going to show those to you, even though they are some of my favorite shades. So the VFX Elite has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 shades. They're $19 a piece. And then the original ones that I showed before are $18. Um... I mean, I'm sorry, $13.90 for the originals, $13.90 for the originals, and, um, no, wait a minute, yeah, $13. yeah, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, um, 
I think that's what they are. I think they're thirteen ninety for the originals and nineteen for the VFX. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I'll put the prices down below. Sometimes I forget because when I order, I get them for 50%, so I don't even pay attention to the price, to be honest. I just throw everything in my cart, and I don't even really pay attention. And I know the prices went up a tad bit, so I will link the um, prices down below for each style. But um, I have notes in front of me, but I'm not sure if... I think I, I know that we have a lip and cheek tint um also that's really pretty and let me show you that that's this one right here this is really pretty you guys um it gives you like that popsicle look to your lips and it smells so good So you can see the difference. It just gives this beautiful wash of color. To your lips. And it stains them. So it's going to stay on for a long part of the day. Where you won't have to touch it up. Which is really nice. So uh, let's see. I am going to, on another video, probably tomorrow, I am going to um, show you the lip glosses that I have and the bullet style products that I have. I have quite a few, so I'll show you those. Now, see you guys, I had put that on for one second and look up. I just wiped that off and it was already, like, it's staying. So that's the lip and cheek tint like I'm really having to like really see you can still kind of see it so that's just going to stain my lips and it's going to be on there and I'll be good to go like if I just wanted to go out without a lot of makeup and I just wanted some product on my lip and maybe some mascara this would be like perfect because my hair's a mess um it just stains your lips so I am going to do the rest of them in a second part because we're already at 40 minutes and we will do the glosses and the bullet lipsticks. And that way you guys will get an opportunity to see what ones I have. And then of course, like I said, we have many others to choose from. I just don't happen to have them. I am going to be placing an order probably to, um, order the ones that I don't have. I already did get some of the ones that I don't have. I already placed an order for, but there's a few more that I didn't realize that I did not have. So I am going to um, probably order those in probably within the next week or so. Uh, so yeah. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that um, you find it helpful as far as what they look like in person, especially if you are similar to my skin tone. Um, everybody, of course, has different pigments in their lips, so it will look different on everybody. Um, it tends to at least, but it will give you an idea of what it would look like. So anyways, you guys, like I said, I apologize. I have no makeup on, but my skin is so healthy, you guys. And I know you're saying, but Charlotte, your skin looks horrible. But <laughs> it's just the melasma. And like I said, I use sunblock. But every, every spring and summer, this comes back. And, there's, and then it goes away. But right now, I've been using this. The e.l.f. Woe Glow. It's 30 um, broad spectrum SPF sunscreen. It's a sun protection and a makeup primer. This stuff is beautiful. It gives you the most beautiful glow. And I love it. Now, we did just come out with a face sunscreen with Pharmacy. So if you are curious about that or you are looking for a face sunscreen, head on over to my website and check it out. I have not tried it yet, so I can't give you an opinion on it. Um, I don't know if I'll actually even order it because I have that. And I, if I buy that, then one of them is not going to get used very often. So I'll probably just use that this summer, um, honestly. But you can go check it out. Um, 
the sunscreen products from pharmacy are really really good so well worth it um i think there is a bundle deal right now going on that you can get both the body and the face together or you can get them separately so go check that out if you are looking and you should wear sunscreen you guys it's super super important so make sure that uh you go check out um uh, the website for that and there's some other new products there's some really good bundles right now on the website that are super pretty um so go check it out you guys if you have any questions let me know and um as always you can shop at www.pharmacyus.com forward slash charlotte cardoso too and if you um if you would like, I also, um, I have some samples of the Serenity Tea. So if anyone's interested in trying the Serenity Tea, I do have some samples left. Very limited because I did give a lot out. I had a lot of people ask for them. So I have, I think, a half a box left. So if anybody's interested in a sample of that, um, let me know. And yeah. So if you guys need anything or you're curious about any of the products, you want to know more about any of the products, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can message me on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, uh, Facebook's probably the better place to message me on. Um, you can do it with Pharmacy with Charlotte on Facebook, or you can go to my personal one, which is Charlotte LaPre, um, on there and message me, so... All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I really do hope that it is helpful when I do videos like this. Um, if you guys want a video, probably what I'll do this week too, if I have time this week, after I do the second part of the lip swatches, I may come on and show you the different foundations that I have. I have the BB, the CC, and the VFX, and I also have powder. So maybe I will come on and just do like one section with BB, one section with CC, like here and here, and then VFX on the top or something like that. So you can see the difference. Um, and then maybe put the powder one down here. So um, you'll be able to see like what the, the three of them look like on me. Um, so maybe I'll do that. And then I'll use like the mattifying one on this side, the strobe on this side and none on one or something like that. And then I have quite a few concealers. So I can probably use um, that and then maybe contour we'll do something. We'll do something fun. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Have a great day tomorrow and I'll see you all soon. Bye.